Welcome and thanks for taking the time to view this video where we'll be looking at two updates. The first update is that if you're planning on or already have upgraded a VMware Workstation to 16.2 build 18760230, you'll notice that dark mode was removed. Dark mode isn't an option to be enabled in VMware Workstation Edit Preferences Display option in this version of Workstation. VMware is aware of the issue and is planning to have an update in the near future that re-enables dark mode in a newer release of VMware Workstation Pro 16. The second update is from a recent Windows 11 install on VMware Workstation Pro that used a TPM module requiring encryption and password to access the VM. VMware has an experimental, undocumented parameter for the virtual machine's VMX file that adds a virtual TPM via software that when used doesn't require the virtual machine encryption or password to access the VM. Encryption is always a recommended option, although may encounter accessibility and ease of use, especially if multiple users may access the VMs. You can weigh these options based on your personal preference of having more security or more convenience. Let's take a look at how to create a Windows 11 virtual machine using the manage dvm.autoaddvtpm equals software in the VMX configuration file setting. Create the virtual machine using the VMware Workstation File New Virtual Machine option. Typical settings can be used with Install Operating System later. Select the Microsoft Windows Radio button with the version set to Windows 10 and later x64. Give the virtual machine a name. Select your preferred virtual disk type and minimum hard disk size of 64 gigabytes or more. Select Finish to create the virtual machine, then edit the settings of the virtual machine. Change memory preferences. Change processor preference, ensuring virtualized Intel VT-X forward slash EPT or AMD-V forward slash RVI is enabled. Add your Windows 11 installation ISO file. Select the Options tab, Advanced UEFI radio button with Enable Secure Boot selected. Save the changes. Next, open the VMX file in the Virtual Machine Settings path with any text editor. Add the line Manage DVM dot auto add VTPM equals opening quote software end quote to the file and save the settings. Please note case sensitivity on this line. The parameter may get reordered in the file after powering on the VM. Power on the VM and start the Windows 11 installation. Select your preferred Windows 11 OS version. Accept the EULA agreement.
install VMware tools for full resolution and mouse control options. In comparison to the prior video that used the hardware TPM with encrypted password to access the VM, this VMX setting doesn't require a password to use the VM. This concludes this video on VMware Workstation 16.2 update and Windows 11 install on VMware Workstation 16.2 using the virtual TPM. Hopefully you found this video to be helpful. If so, and you'd like to support this channel, please consider subscribing to the channel, liking and sharing the video, commenting below, and selecting the bell icon below to receive notification on future content as it posts. Thanks and have a great day.